Formerly one of the richest colonies in the Americas, Haiti is today the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere, with more than half of its people living below the poverty line, according to the World Bank. Haiti's poverty is challenging to comprehend, especially for people who reside in a wealthy nation like the United States. The lengthy history of political tyranny, soil erosion, illiteracy, and a big population in a tiny country are a few of the obvious factors. However, the issue of what causes such poverty is complicated. The widespread destitution in Haiti is debilitating and terrible, but a tiny minority both inside and outside of Haiti, who are wealthy and powerful enough to change it, are mostly to blame for all of that suffering. Before we proceed, kindly return the favor and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and activate the bell notification feature to stay up to speed with new video publications. Human beings are ultimately to blame for Haiti's misfortune. They have roots in avarice and dominance. The loss of Haiti's colonial wealth and the establishment and maintenance of her misery have been repeatedly guaranteed by both the international world and the country's leaders. The role of the international community includes French colonialism, the 1804 international boycott of the new country, the 1838 French debt, and the 1915-1934 American occupation. During the post-World War II American dominance, Haiti's rulers also contributed to the country's poverty for a number of reasons, including early republic labor practices that resembled slavery, use of abuses of human rights as a means of oppression, when considering the secondary causes of Haitian poverty, Haiti's political situation both internationally and domestically has ensured her misery. However, throughout time, these pressures have led to the emergence of other elements that guarantee the continuation of Haiti's misery, even if Haiti were to establish a strong local government free from outside interference. A remote possibility. The following are a few of the most obvious secondary reasons of poverty in Haiti. Language as an oppressor, ignorance, and illiteracy. The education system, or lack thereof. Soil erosiveness. Food produced locally and crops used for export, nearly 60% of Haiti's food is imported. Inadequate roads, water systems, sewage systems, medical facilities, and educational facilities. Joblessness and underemployment. Underdevelopment during a time of intense global rivalry and Haitian sense of self. Now why has Haiti struggled so much to progress? Let's get into it. Since gaining its independence from France, a variety of factors have threatened Haiti's development including foreign meddling, local political corruption, natural disasters and diseases, intervention from abroad and debt. After gaining independence from France in 1804, foreign powers continued to interfere in Haiti. Only until its former colony agreed to make reparations that would be worth $22 billion today did France finally recognize Haiti as an independent nation in 1825. Up to 80% of Haiti's income over the ensuing 120 years was used to pay off this debt. Only in 1862, when President Abraham Lincoln was promoting emancipation both at home and abroad did the United States officially acknowledge Haiti. Later U.S. administrations mostly have a strategic perspective on Haiti. The start of World War I, President Woodrow Wilson sent Marines to Haiti in an effort to reportedly restore political stability because he was concerned about German influence expanding in the Caribbean. Seven presidents of Haiti have either been removed from office or killed in the five years preceding. The United States was in charge of Haiti's security and finances for almost two decades. It also overthrew presidents and legislatures who resisted American involvement and it imposed forced labor, racial segregation, and press control. In uprisings against the U.S. government, some 15,000 Haitians perished. The worst uprisings took place in 1919 and 1929. As part of his good neighbor policy, President Franklin D. Roosevelt withdrew American troops from Europe in 1934. Instability in politics Following the American evacuation, there were several unstable regimes which culminated in 1957 with the installation of a dictatorship led by Francois and Jean-Claude Duvalier. Their 29-year reign was marked by human rights abuses that cost the country 30,000 lives or went missing, as well as corruption that emptied the country's finances. The younger Duvalier was forced to leave the country in 1986 as a result of widespread protests and international pressure, paving the door for a new constitution and democratic institutions. However, political unrest continued. First democratically elected president of the nation Jean-Bertrand Aristide was twice overthrown in coups, in 1991 and 2004. Both sparked United Nations-backed military invasions by the United States. 
In order to restore order following the overthrow of the Aristide government, the UN organized a 13-year peacekeeping mission in 2004 called the UN Stabilization Mission in Haiti, MIMUSTAH, which was commanded by Brazil. Allegations of American interference on Michael Martelli's favor cast doubt on his victory in the 2011 presidential election. After twice delaying the presidential election and more than a year of rule by decree, he eventually announced his resignation. When Jovenel Moses' official election was delayed until early 2017 due to charges of fraud against Martelli's successor, Haiti was left in a political void. Massive demonstrations and requests for his resignation occurred throughout Moses' presidency in response to rising petrol costs, the elimination of government subsidies, accusations of corruption, a deteriorating economic crisis, and questions about the legitimacy of his administration. Mose was assassinated on July 7, 2021, which was the culmination of the protracted societal turmoil. Initially, numerous mercenaries, many of whom had undergone U.S. military training, were detained by U.S. officials on suspicion of being involved in the murder. However, only three men have been charged thus far because Haiti's own investigation has stalled. Ariel Henry, who was appointed prime minister just a few days before the murder, became the presidency and is now being investigated after Haiti's chief prosecutor said that Henry was in contact with a major suspect. Henry himself was the target of an assassination attempt in January 2022. The presidential election was planned by the administration, but it was repeatedly postponed. Natural Catastrophes The Caribbean region as a whole has fewer natural disasters than Haiti, which is situated on a geological fault line in a location vulnerable to powerful storms. Due to extensive deforestation, Haiti now experiences mudslides and flooding twice as frequently as the Dominican Republic. Additionally, a variety of variables such as a dearth of urban planning, poor housing and infrastructure, huge coastal populations, and a pronounced reliance on subsistence farming increase the impact of disasters. A significant earthquake that struck Haiti in 2010 near the capital left 1.5 million people homeless and killed roughly 220,000 people. Basic reconstruction expenditures exceeded the nation's yearly GDP at $8 billion. Drought caused crop losses of 70% between 2015 and 2017, and Hurricane Matthew destroyed the nation's infrastructure, livestock, and houses in 2016. In August 2021, a magnitude 7.2 earthquake devastated the southern peninsula of Haiti, damaging 30% of local dwellings, killing over 2,000 people, and forcing tens of thousands more to flee their homes. After a few days, Tropical Storm Grace made things worse by pouring a lot of rain, which led to landslides and flash flooding. Mismanagement of aid programs and epidemics have made things more difficult. Malaria and dengue are rife and following the 2010 earthquake, UN peacekeepers from Nepal brought cholera with them. Since then, cholera has killed 10,000 people and sickened nearly 1 million more. Meanwhile, detractors claim that non-governmental organizations mismanage billions of dollars in charity. And now let us hear from you in the comment section below. Keep in mind that more videos will be up soon. So be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell in order to stay up to date with new video alerts. Also, sharing indicates you want to see our content reach a wider audience. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.